one of the things that we know from speaking to economic development officials is that one of the things that companies look for first when siting a new facility or even retaining existing facilities is whether renewable resources exist in the community in which they're looking. Kentucky is well known for being a coal state. And really, when we talk about Kentucky and industries, we see that solar can really be a part of the future of Kentucky attracting more economic development. by building out more solar, more companies like Ford and Toyota can look to Kentucky as a place that they want to locate. Our solar farms are a real thing in Kentucky. Like, that was our first question. <laughs> I mean, I knew what a solar panel was. Couldn't told you anything about it. Couldn't care less, you know. I got a letter in the mail about solar panels. I talked to the kids and I said, we need to talk to them. Doing your own research on the internet, you could find one end or the other. So we went and, and relied mostly on university experts to get the correct answers. You need to really educate yourself, but it just takes a little bit of learning. A solar farm is quiet, doesn't make any noise. It's not invasive on the neighbors. It's not gonna devalue their property values. People really worry about what are you gonna do with the old ones? They're gonna go to landfill, they're gonna contaminate it. And after doing the research and talking to universities, that's not true. There's nothing there to contaminate the soil. Uh, there's some talk that underneath the solar panels, that land becomes absolutely useless for agriculture ever again. And that's not true, it just, it's fallow land. It's just growing in grass and it's actually building nutrients instead of using nutrients. I cannot imagine how rich that soil is actually gonna be and like what you can do with it then. It's good for our environment, it's good for our community. It's not radiating, it's not polluting, and it just draws energy from the sun. And by contract, it's guaranteed income. Through leases and payments to landowners, generations of people can benefit from these facilities in a way that folks have never seen before. It was a chance to secure a future. Like, you know, I saw that right off the bat, having Jewett and everything. It's a really good opportunity and he'll still have it when they take the solar panels off of it, and then it'll be, it'll be a brand new place. It'll be no different than it was the day that they got on it. Kentucky does have a proud history of energy. Solar can allow Kentucky to continue its history and legacy, really, of energy production in the state through solar facilities that are located in communities throughout the Commonwealth. I'd like to see it and be something that, you know, people was proud of that it was here. Wouldn't it be nice to say that poor old crazy woman, she signed that up and now look, look what it's done for this country. <laughs>